Deji. I have uh, several questions on Syria. Um, according to Syrian national media, Israel attacked Syria again, and this time it caused deaths of two civilians. Uh, it's it's been the fourth attack in a week from uh, what what reported Israel uh, to Syria. So, any response from the Secretary General on the, this series of uh, incidents? Questions on the same topic? Uh, not really. Okay. Oh no, that's fine. I'm just uh, uh, listen. We've um, We've, I think, always uh, expressed our concern about these uh, reported uh, airstrikes, and we again call on all parties to abide by their obligations under international law and urge them to exercise maximum restraint to prevent further regional escalation. Uh, yesterday, when the Russian ambassador Nebenzi answered the question from Abd Hamid, he said this kind of attack is unadmissible. Does the UN agree with that uh, word? I'm not here to provide commentary on answers from uh, from ambassadors. I've expressed to you what but, our but, position. But it's interesting that according to my uh, according to what what I know, um, the Israel started airstrikes and attacks on Syria. Sometimes they announce it. Sometimes they don't. They they don't. Um, should should the UN urge Israel at least to publish? their reason for these kinds of attacks. We, what we want uh, is for all of the parties uh, uh, who are uh, who have an impact on the situation in Syria but not to do anything that would further uh, escalate regional tensions. So hold on, I have two, two more questions on Syria. Sorry. Um, so this one is de-escalation of tensions in Syria, I guess, because uh, the Russian, Turkey, Iranian, and the Syrian deputy foreign minister just concluded their meetings in Moscow to uh, try to reestablish uh, diplomatic ties between Turkey and Syria. So they said they have a very frank exchange of uh, of views of opinions, mm -hmm. and they reach consensus to continue engage. Any response? No. no. <laughs> okay. So one last question. The U United States military says its force had killed a senior leader of ISIS in Syria, and no civilians were killed or injured in that, ra in that raid. It's just curious, does, does this coalition had any mandate from the UN to do that? I really have no, nothing further to say on this. Okay. Thank you all.